married life already felt like prison for 17-year-old Nabella Henry. She had never been attracted to Saad and was far from the doting, domesticated wife he expected. Nabella and Saad welcomed their first child into the world. It brought me happiness. I mean, it, it was easier adjusting to motherhood than marriage. Life got even busier in June of 1991 when Nabella delivered a baby girl named Nora. By Nora's first birthday, the spark for her husband still wasn't there. Finally, Nabella told him she wanted a separation. By Halloween weekend of 1993, Nabella Henry and her husband Saad were sharing custody of their children. Nabella called Saad to arrange a pickup location, but her call went unanswered. He says either he takes the children to Lebanon or he kills me. So he just took the children. I wish he would have tried to kill me. At least I would have had a fighting chance. Sometimes you lose hope. Sometimes you have hope. But, you know, I kept making phone calls to anybody that would listen. Two long years after her children were taken, Nabella finally received the break she had been waiting for when she reached out to an organization that specializes in cases like her own. American Association for Lost Children is a nonprofit charity that finds and rescues missing children at no cost to the parents. Nabella contacted me about her two children that were missing, and I was willing to help her and look into it. Mark said he thinks he can help me. I was so excited. I mean, I wasn't 100% sure if we can get my kids back, but we were working on something. By the following August, Mark Miller and his associate Patricia Moore had devised a plan. We knew we were taking a chance on being there. We knew it was risky. And we also knew there was a chance that I would go to jail. But that was a risk I was willing to take. On October 27th, the trio arrived in Beirut and early the next morning took a cab to the children's school. When they arrived, Nabella and Pat rushed into the crowded schoolyard searching for the children. So I walk up to him, and I'm like, Ramsey. And he looks up, and I'm like, do you know who I am? And he goes, yeah, I'm Mommy. I just look, I'm like, Nora. She looks up, that's my girl. Nora looked up, and she said, Mommy. And she hadn't seen Mommy in three years. By the time we got to the car, there's this feeling of accomplishment. When the plane took off, we cried. We cried, and we couldn't believe it. And that's when Ramsey asks me, Mom, why are you crying? She said that she's crying because she's happy. That's my one crystal clear memory of the plane. 